Movement is the medicine, and that's just what I'll, I'll die on that. Uh, Soft tissue feels about. good, though, a little bit. Through real root. No one is forced to stay in a chair for eight hours and not allowed to get up and, right. and yeah. move around. Or, or just that, that job doesn't exist. Or just fix your And um, both of them were scam artists. Yeah, mine too. I found out as I got older. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Topic Thunder, we are the Gossip Boys. Salam Mike, the one and only Dean Sidoris, Captain Kilos, Jim McD, the legend, 3SB.co, so, and Killa 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 Kai. <laughs> So I'm kind of a hater, so I'm just going to dish this one off to you guys. Oh, There's a lot of <laughs> topics that people use, and you guys might use them too. You could call me a hater. Um, a lot of uh, mediums, one might say, uh, or modalities, if you're in the industry, that you would say, that people use, they swear by. And I hate them all. So we're going to start at the top. I'm going to give you three, but we can digress. The one is stretching. Worth your time. Do you do it? Do you hate it? Do you believe in it? Foam rolling. Worth your time? Do you do it? Do you hate it? And chiropractors. Do you love it? Do you Whoa. hate it? Do you do it? And uh, I hate all three. <laughs> don't use them. Won't use them. Don't care. The only chiropractor I like is Jordan Shallow because he's my friend. <laughs> uh, minimal. Go ahead, I'm going to go minimal stretching. Okay. Um, foam rolling is kind of like, nah. Good. Fuck the foam. Um, it's kind of just to chill. <laughs> kind of chill. <laughs> yeah. But um, not that I do it often, but I do kind of enjoy the relaxing and like the the feeling of chiropractic work i don't go and get regular chiropractic work but i have got it like getting cracked yeah like getting cracked I like, like are you like going there to fix an issue i've done i've went there to fix an issue before and actually like worked out really great oh that's okay. good um it wasn't super serious take that mike um but Fuck you know th it could be uh you know it could just be you had a hangnail yeah <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I, I've never, <laughs> I've doctor, never doctor. gone. <laughs> I've never gone to the chiropractor and uh, and like my issue didn't get worked out. Oh. And honestly, I went there for like some pretty bad shit with my like I've rolled my ankle a hundred times skating, and uh, I know the process of recovery right. for it. And in my later, uh, you know, third fifth wave of skating as a as a you know twenty nine year old man, thirty year old man at the time. I did it really bad again where I'm talking like, you know, softball size, yeah. going mm -hmm. same ankle that I always fuck it up and uh, went to my boy. Uh, movement matters. Yeah. Shout out. Um, he uh, and he got you back on the wheels. Yeah. So with a 50 50 grind, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like with it, like with the chiropractic work and the, you know, the, the red light stuff, the therapy and just like constant, like kind of releasing and, and tweaking. It was half the time. So like I I'll, recovered twice as fast. I'll back up so I don't get hated on by all people. I think uh, the, the 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 practice of like the typical chiropractor, what they'll learn in the school is all witchcraft. But uh, there are good chiropractors that take their schooling as a way to start a business, and then they continue their education uh, with other modalities uh, and can find a way to help you out. And that's why I did shout out my boy Jordan because he he took chiropractor to get his leverage into the industry, and then he learns a lot of PT stuff, a lot of anatomy stuff. He's just stupid. And, that, and that's smart. my boy too. He, it, yeah. It isn't like it's yes he is a chiropractor but he also like he's like does does it all. Yeah, he didn't say oh your ankle's swollen let me crack your neck and go home. No, no it wasn't that. Yeah. It wasn't that. And honestly I don't know shit about chiropractic. That's what it is. At all. <laughs> but like I really don't know <laughs> and anything about it. And then they feed you some alkali water on the way out. What he, what I could have gotten done on me wasn't even chiropractic work at all. True. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I I think a big part of it is like um kind of comes from a is that not working? You got to go through the tip. It's just going right just up the tip. Oh, oh. It's going right up your nose. All right. So um, I think I think the issue is, so like I grew up with two family chiropractors and I know each one I'm of them sorry, now. I'm sorry to the family. That's, dude, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the truth. And like I know so many other families do the same shit. And um, both of them were scam artists. Yeah, mine too. I found out as I got older. Yeah, mine too. Both of them. And then I found out more surrounding people really? in the area are all scam artists. They would charge like, hey, we're going to get you on a six-month plan. Nobody's injured or anything. Yeah. No one's hurt. No, Nobody's, it's preventative. Yeah, it's you all wanna, preventative. You, you're going to be 60 one day, Kyle. Don't you want a healthy yeah. back? That's literally, they would just play you on your emotions. You some supplements. Only, like, you can only buy these supplements here, though. You can't, yeah, you yeah. can't get them nowhere else. And, and literally, like, we're charging so much, like six to seven grand for like a summer. And they're like, yeah, we'll take care of your whole family, man. They're going to be moving well. You're going to be able to play catch with your kids and all this. Like, I watched it happen. I was young. I was like 10, 12 years old, you know? And I, both chiropractors did it, and I was like, holy shit, this guy's saying the exact same thing this guy said five years ago. It, like, it, it was just so weird, and I was like, oh, I don't know. And then and then I met another guy who was an actual um, – he went to chiropractor school and shit. He said they go to school to teach you how to make more money. He was like, 
he was like, you go through courses to make it so that there's longevity. Yeah, like marketing, sales, how yeah. to run a biz. They're like, you want to get them as long as you can, basically. And he was like, he's like, that's when I kind of stepped away from it, and he did his own practice. Now he has like a little office where you just go in, you pay him cash, and he just does like PT work on you for an hour, and then like if you need adjusting or whatever, he'll do that. And like changed my life ever since, like knowing that guy. And I'm like, that's oh, kind of what really my cool. yeah, my buddy. Yeah. yeah, he's got he he has a big practice uh, out here in the in the. It's it's a lot more involved than just maybe like the yeah like your like uh, liquor store yeah, right cracker next shack. The, your your cracker shack right next to fucking yeah. uh, Bob's uh, and there's just so Bob's many liquor. of those too there's so yeah, many yeah, there's of those. a lot it's of crazy. those because what is it? it's two years of school I think yeah I don't even know something yeah. like that yeah I think it's two, doctor do you yeah, get an yeah. actual doctorate like uh, you, you can't, well they right? call yeah. them, like a yeah. lot of them like there's yeah. like the doctor running joke they call themselves a doctor yeah no you're a chiropractor but the masses. Yeah. Again, yeah. we're so in the industry, and we all don't even agree. Let alone mm-hmm. what's on the surface level that does no research, doesn't know anything. You know, yeah. like of course they're gonna fall for it. I will say this: I don't think I could have started powerlifting when I was over forty if I hadn't had some good sessions with uh, an ART. Yeah, that's who good was stuff. a who was a chiropractor. Yeah, and but was it the chiropractor? Or was the ART? Uh, it was the ART. Yeah, I mean, like. The, she crack my neck and my back and stuff, and that did, it never thought that was necessary yeah. at all. It was just all the, yeah. the soft tissue. Feels stuff good though, a little bit through range of motion, and it's limited. There are only certain things that it actually works really well for. But like my back was seriously jacked up, yeah, and my shoulders were really jacked up, and they're still jacked up. But like I I survived that that those years that I was lifting heavy, uh, and I I couldn't have started at all. Um, I think in terms of stretching, like. Um, my my wife runs i don't run um and she swears by stretching after well that's what they that they the stretching before is a fucking that's a whole thing that's a whole sham yeah always stretch after if anybody takes anything away from this podcast is stretch after you work out and if you want and foam rolling is one of those things that feels makes something feel better for a a period of time I don't. I'm not sold on anything to do with foam rolling. Well, I, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying that. I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't think people need to do it all the time. But if something feels tight or whatever, you can get in on something and get it to release a little bit. And you're really working on the nerves. You're not really working on the muscles. You know, when, yeah, it, but, when it comes down to, yeah, I just my, need to see the science on it. That's that's all. I my e- my easy argument is a ten minute walk would do the same thing. If you got a tight quad, might, but yeah. but you can put you know five minutes and you don't want to go outside. You know, I mean, a lot of people do that kind of thing before they go to bed. Sure, and 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 it sure. can be helpful. Yeah, what what feels better and what works is also not the same. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, like the issue with ice. We're talking about ice a little bit. Uh, ice feels good. Yeah, numb you out. Of mm-hmm. course, it doesn't really solve anything. Right. Though. No. no. Yeah. yeah it I, de- I, uh, you know, I think also with with the foam rolling and the stretching is that 99% of the people are stretching or foam rolling the wrong spot. Mm-hmm. That's not where the problem is coming from. Probably so. Well, and if you're spending time. They're, they're working on where the pain is, not where the problem is coming from. And, and, and is the pain or the problem going to be solved through that or through a movement pattern that you're fucking up every day or because you're sitting at your desk every day so if you're foam rolling 10 minutes a day to kind of feel better but you're sitting at a desk like an asshole for eight hours a day why don't we fix the asshole behavior right that's where my head is yeah i think there's always that's the real root that's the real root. No one is forced to stay in a chair for eight hours and not allowed to get up and, right. and yeah. move around. Or, or just that, fix, that job doesn't exist. Or just fix your in posture. In the United States. Yeah, or mm-hmm. just fix your posture at the desk. Or, yeah. or there's ways yeah. around it other than like pseudo placebo yourself on a piece of foam. Yeah. I think to play devil's advocate, it's like if you, uh, like let's say someone's getting into lifting and they're getting into everything, right? Everyone kind of goes through that like yeah. knowledge hill, whatever, Dunning Kruger. Yeah, yeah. Dunning Kruger effect or whatever. Um, I would much rather them be fucking in here foam rolling and chilling out versus like, man, I'm told I can't do this, I can't do that. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? This For isn't sure. even fun anymore. For sure. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, what the hell? Like, I'll, right, I'll, right. I like foam rolling. Like, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll go do it. It feels kind of good, you know? Whatever. I'll go lay on it and fall it's, asleep and shit. It's kind of like what Mike makes his point a lot. It's like, whatever makes you feel good yeah. to like get active and get in the gym. Is yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Last episode, yeah. I was talking about the, the, the mouthpiece. If the mouthpiece, buying it $20 makes you feel fucking sick getting mm-hmm. under the barbell, go buy a mouthpiece. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, if it feels good and like, it's not going to be hurting you necessarily. Some things will. Right. Like if you're stretching before you lift, not only are you going to be weaker scientific, like yeah, pro- that's proven. Like you're yeah, gonna it's just not as big of a deal even then though. You yeah, do, yeah. You, you do have a less power output, but like per scale, it's not going to take a 500 pound squatter to a 400 pound squatter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like if it's not going to hurt, like yeah, it's, it's not all whatever. Hurt you. Just like do like if it feels good, if it's in your routine. Because I, I think having the routine is probably beneficial to you long term. Sure, you know what 100%. I mean. Like, like hey, if you like to do this hamstring stretch before every time you squat, 
fucking do it then. It's a semi healthy habit versus yeah. doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. Versus, but stretching versus is still worse shit. Yeah, versus a game changer versus it being the best thing on earth. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. If you squat every day, if movement is the medicine, and that's just what I'll I'll die on that. Uh, you're gonna be better off moving than not moving. Yeah. Uh, not even your full shit. All right. Off to McDonald's. <laughs>